your Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, we are going to look into the graphs of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. First, let's see what if a is greater than 0. Look at this example. y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. Here, the range of x is given as x is greater than or equal to minus 2 and less than or equal to 4. First, let's find the coordinates. For that, we arrange a table. The x values are taken from minus 2 to 4 as the range is mentioned. Let's see how to fill this. x squared terms are taken by squaring the x values. That is, minus 2 squared is 4 and minus 1 squared is 1 and so on. The next row is minus 2x. We multiply each x value by minus 2 to fill this row. So, minus 2 into minus 2 is 4 and minus 2 into minus 1 is 2 and so on. The minus 3 row is filled as minus 3 itself which says we subtract 3 from the numbers above. Now let's take the y coordinate. All what you need to do is sum up the 3 digits in this shaded part down each column. That is 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 minus 3 is 5. So when x is equal to minus 2, y becomes 5. Likewise, we fill the rest of the blanks. Now we have taken the coordinates. Remember when we plot a graph, we should occupy the graph paper as much as possible. That is, our graph should spread throughout the paper. For this, we must pay attention to the coordinates. The x coordinates vary from minus 2 to 4. It is clear x axis must have positive integers than negative integers. So, the y axis of our graph should be shifted towards the left of the paper. The y coordinates vary from 5 to minus 4. Therefore, we can make our x axis towards the center of the paper. The graph plotted will be like this. Now look at these characteristics of the graph. Mind that the word function here refers to the graph and specifically to the values of y. The graph is symmetric, that is, it can be divided into two equal parts along the line x equals 1. So, x equals 1 is called the axis of symmetry. You can see the lowest value of y is minus 4. Thus, minus 4 is called the minimum value. Then, as the graph turns at this point, the coordinates of the turning points are 1 and minus 4. When we discuss the behavior of the function, you can see when x increases from minus 2 to minus 1, y decreases from 5 to 0. Therefore, we say the function decreases positively because there it is above x-axis. Then, it further decreases from 0 to minus 4, below the x-axis, that is, decreasing negatively. At x equals minus 1 and x equals 3, the graph cuts the x-axis, showing that the function is 0. Next part from minus 4 to 0 is an increment. It increases negatively, whereas the final part from 3 to 5 increases positively. Through these details, you can see that the function is negative or takes negative y values, or we can even say it lies below the x-axis when x lie between minus 1 and 3, whereas the function is positive or above x-axis when x is less than minus 1 and when x is greater than 3. The x-coordinates at which the graph cuts the x-axis are called the roots. At this point, y-coordinates are 0. Here, in this graph, the roots are minus 1 and 3. You should remember that any point on the graph satisfy the graph equation y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. That is, the point 3 and 0 lies on the graph. Then, x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 0. So, if you substitute the values of x and y in the equation, you will see the left hand side and the right hand side becomes equal to one another. Conversely, if x is equal to a and if y is equal to b satisfy the equation, then the coordinates a, b lies on the graph. 
So, it is clear when a is greater than 0 in the graph of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, we obtain a parabola with a minimum. Now, let's see what happens when a is less than 0. Take the function y equals minus x squared minus 2x plus 6 in the range of x between minus 4 and 2. Arrange the table x values from minus 4 to 2. The minus x squared row is filled by taking the negative values of the square of x. That is, if x is equal to minus 4, its square is 16. But since we need minus x squared, we take minus 16. The remaining rows are filled just like before. To get minus 2x, multiply x values by minus 2 and add 6 to all the values. Then take the summation of the shaded part to get y. Fine, now let's plot the graph. When drawing the axis, note that the y axis must shift towards left as x have more negative integers. And the x axis must shift towards bottom as y has more positive coordinates. Here you can see the graph is symmetric along x equals minus 1. Thus, x equals minus 1 is the axis of symmetry. This function has a maximum value of 7 and the coordinates of the turning point becomes minus 1 and 7. When paying attention to the behavior of the function, it increases negatively from minus 4 to minus 3.6 and it increases positively from minus 3.6 to minus 1. It is clear at minus 3.6 and 1.6, the function is equal to 0, whereas the function decreases positively from minus 1 to 1.6 and the final part is decreasing negatively from 1.6 to 2. Range of values for which the function is positive is when x lie between minus 3.6 and 1.6. The function has become negative when x is less than minus 3.6 and when x is greater than 1.6. Roots of the function are minus 3.6 and 1.6. From this graph, we can conclude that the function attains a maximum when a is less than 0. Hope I made myself clear with this graph and its features. See you with another smart